Yashiro Commissioner, I'm sure you've heard the news. The Tinryu Commission has now occupied Rito, refusing to leave until we hand Lady Hiragi over to them. I realize I have greatly offended you with my atrocious actions, and I realize also that this must sound like the very height of absurdity. But please, have mercy, good sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Matsura. I'm exceptionally busy and have but a moment to spare before my next engagement. I fear this leaves no time for small talk. So, please, if you would be so kind, get straight to the point. <sighs> I know our apology means nothing to you, but we really have nothing else left to offer by this point. I'm terribly sorry. Everyone in the entire Konjo Commission now realizes the gravity of this situation. Lady Hiragi is indispensable to us. We promise to always support her. So, would it be at all possible for you to talk to Sir Kujo once more? On our behalf? You make it sound so easy. The Tri-Commission will be ridiculed by the public if we choose to withdraw the notices now and eat our words. What do you plan to do about this? To lose face for the Tri-Commission is to bring shame to Her Excellency. Are you and your associates ready to face the thunderous wrath of the Almighty Shogun? We... will take full responsibility. We'll publish a new notice and hold a conference to explain the situation. We will make sure that the public knows this was all a huge misunderstanding. We'll do everything we can to minimize the impact. Everything we can. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, Master Matsura, you should have known it would come to this. Whatever were you thinking? But the Tri-Commission must always put the interests of Inazuma first, regardless of what Sir Kujo and I may feel at this present moment. If the situation in Rito is left to fester any further, things may get out of control. But Lady Hiragi and the inhabitants of Rito are innocent. If we fail to contain the situation promptly, the rumor mill will wreak havoc on the Tri-Commission's reputation. Try keeping a pet bird. You'll see what I mean. Songbirds who know how to hold a tune can be very pleasant to listen to, but they can also become irritating if they don't know when to stop. And as for the ones with excessively long tongues, well, they're so insufferable that they can't be kept as pets at all. But it doesn't take a moment to cut out their tongues and silence them for good. Yes, I understand. I've listened to your concerns, and I'll talk to Sir Kujo for you. But I can't guarantee that he will change his mind. I understand. Thank you for your help, Yashiro Commissioner. All right, you ought to return now. I'm sure you have a sizable mess to deal with back in the Kanjo Commission. Okay, then please excuse me. Thank you once again, Commissioner. Ah, yes, Lady Hiragi. I have something to tell you. Would you mind? Oh? Why, of course. Sir Kamisato, you became a completely different person just now. It felt so intense. Unruly servants like him need to be severely reprimanded. As a commissioner, the Almighty Shogun trusts me to do her will. I did as I should. But now, I'd like to take off my commissioner hat and share a personal story with you. Oh, please. I'd love to hear it. You must have heard that the Kamisato clan once went through an extremely difficult period. My father worked incredibly hard to compensate for the grave errors made by the Kamisato clan long ago, and restore our reputation. The work took a toll on his health, and ultimately led to his untimely demise. My mother loved him dearly. She passed soon after. This sudden turn of events dealt a heavy blow to the Ashiro Commission. Behind the scenes, things became very unstable. Everyone thought that the Kamisato clan had lost power. That made my sister and me nothing but burdens hindering the ambitions of others. It may sound preposterous now, 
but I assure you that is the truth of what the Ashiro Commission has been through. Huh. Pretty similar to how the Kanjo Commission is now. Back then, I had no choice but to accept the position I was in. While I desperately looked around for powerful supporters, I endured smear campaigns and attempts to exploit me. I had no other choice. I had to honor my parents' dying wishes, and I also had a young sister to take care of. I didn't mind what became of me, but my family... No one can ever be allowed to trample over my precious family. Fortunately, I persisted, and the Kamisato clan was able to survive this storm. I think I now know where my sense of loss and confusion was coming from. Shinojo once told me that he saw what was in me, in a way that no one else did. That's why he couldn't bear to see me live the rest of my life depending on someone else. I thought the reason I felt unsettled was because of uncertainty over getting married. But the fact is, it's because I felt too young and inexperienced to handle the situation facing me. The reason why Sir Kujo was able to face the prospect of marriage so confidently is because he's prepared for anything. That's it. The situation I'm facing now is the same one he faced back then. When his clan was in crisis, he bravely drew his blade and challenged the Almighty Shogun. And now... It is time for me to make a stand and become my own person. Well said. I'm sure once you have grown and gained confidence, your father will be able to let go and allow you to decide how you want to live the rest of your life. It might not sound exciting, but this kind of personal growth is a necessary step in the pursuit of true happiness. And I'm sure I can get there. I will use this as an opportunity to take over the responsibilities of the Hiragi clan. I'll think about marriage again after everything is more settled. This puts less pressure on Kamachi, and means I can support and protect myself without having to worry about becoming a burden or dependent on someone else. My best wishes to both of you were and remain heartfelt. When the time comes for the wedding to go ahead, I will come to congratulate you once more. Thank you, Sir Kamisato. I am grateful for everything you have shared with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to deal with back home. Take care, Lady Hiragi. I'm confident that on your return, you will find your Kanjo Commission associates most receptive to your instruction. Yes. In fact, my recent experience suggests the same. Thank you once again. She really has the air of a leader now. Hats off to you too, sir. Everyone thought there was no way out until you pulled that super smart strategy out of nowhere. In fact, counter-checking is a perfectly common maneuver in the game of chess. Our rival this time was easy to deal with. He was smart, but short-sighted, and sloppy in his execution. This outcome is entirely within my expectation. Even so, Paimon could never come up with a plan that cunning in a whole lifetime. Anyway, it's kind of a relief to see that Chisato has decided to set the Hiragi clan straight. I agree. Stability in Inazuma benefits me as well. I wasn't about to pass up an opportunity to make less trouble for myself. <laughs> well... The fact is that I am first and foremost the Yashiro Commissioner. Perhaps for Master Matsura, power is his life's pursuit. But for me, nothing matters more than the stability of Inazuma. A stable nation is the prerequisite for a stable Yashiro Commission. Only then can the Kamisato clan and the other Yashiro Commission clans have a peaceful existence. But human desire will always be a factor in the equation. This is not the first situation of its kind, nor will it be the last. All I have tried to do is make sure the three parties to the Tri-Commission serve to restrain each other. Stasis is not the only form of stability. A balance of power leaving no room for maneuver achieves the same end. 
Another positive outcome is that everyone recognizes how important Lady Hiragi is now. I think I did her a sizable favor in that regard. Dealing with the Hiragi clan will be much easier for her than navigating a new and unfamiliar one. <sighs> there were so many things at play over this one wedding! Uh, wait a second! You weren't trying to stop the wedding from the very beginning, were you? Hmm? I thought straight away it was bad timing. Nevertheless, everything I said to Hiragi Chisato was entirely sincere. If you choose to give up your stance on something once, you'll be having to compromise for the rest of your life. I didn't want to see her suffer because she didn't realize what she was getting into. Now, she has the chance to become her own person. Let's see who she becomes. Okay then, guess we'll have to wait and see. All right. Farewell, and profuse thanks to you both. I shall have to host you at the Kamisato estate when my sister is next available. Looks like everything's resolved. Masterfully done. Everything was perfect. Well, except for one minor detail. I somehow ended up with a glass of very peculiar tasting milk. Hmm. Didn't you like it? I distinctly remember you saying you are quite partial to exotic flavors. Oh! <laughs> uh, my lord? The Traveler had one of those as well. Ah, I'm sure he's made a great impression on you. The Traveler did indeed play a critical role in this case. I'm sure both families would have been more guarded against me had he and his companion not been present. It wouldn't have been so easy to get to the heart of the matter. There you go again, my lord. Placing the focus on other people while discreetly performing your job to perfection. <laughs> Naturally. Ah, yes. Now that we're both free, let's finish off that game of chess we started a few days ago.